What's going on family? It's your boy Mosey here with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On today's episode of Mosey Reacts, I have episode 13 of Attack on Titan. But before I get into today's episode, I do want to give a thank you to you guys for sticking around and watching these reactions. I do truly appreciate it. And if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing and joining the family and helping the channel grow. And as always, this is not a market substitute. You should always support the official release. Yeah. I'm not for sure. I would say yes, but with this show, who who knows? I love her hair. Now, if this Titan turns around and sees him getting this, they are definitely intelli intelligent. See, like, really? It just happens to come back towards him when he's getting the gear? Or is that a different one? Marco, Marco, Marco. Like, did he really just fly from behind the Titan to in front of him instead of just cutting his neck? Damn. Probably, that's probably why the guy died. Oh, Connie. Just when I was holding you to high standards. Like, I'm not tripping, right? They should be like, if you're gonna hit the Titan, you might as well go for a kill shot, right? Watch. Ain't he gonna kill him? What? Oh, okay. Damn, I'm surprised. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, Annie looks fire with that white hoodie too. Which one is it? Is it claw? It has to be the armored. It sounds heavy. Hey, really? All right, Aaron, I see you. I don't know how you got control of the Titan, because last we saw you were still in your dream world, but... All right, Armin, tell us what happened. Where's our flashback? Now, when they say Aaron has control, like, can he talk in Titan form, too? And everything? Like, he's now just a regular person, like, intelligent, too? Like, we've seen what Eren can do. Why wouldn't he just set down the border real quick, knock out the Titans very quickly since they're stupid and he destroyed them last time, then pick the rock up and set it down? Oh yeah, they 100% intelligence you insult them they stop turn around like oh hell no they are definitely intelligent i feel like there's plenty of buildings around so i'm confused what they mean by like this is like a suicide mission like say i understand staying on the ground trying to outrun a titan stupid but it looks like there's plenty of buildings around Okay, so he does have consciousness, but... Oh my god. Dude, you guys need to quit worrying about everyone else and just focus on yourself. But are there others that witness, like when he says, witness, this is everyone in the world, right, is inside this wall, so. Oh my god. Hey, they weren't lying about a suicide mission. Everyone's going to die except for Armin and Mikasa. Hey, is that Rika? Is that her name? Why go for the eye? Why are they going for kill shots? I don't understand. Why is Mikasa the only one? Oh, 
Case in point. Dude, I love Armin's voice actor. And that's a dope anime shot. So they got the whole block, but I, I still don't understand if this is really a victory, though. Like, a lot of people just died just to... It's true, but was it worth it? I have mixed feelings about the victory that they're saying they got. It's like the Titans weren't strategically fighting back against them. They just were able to bug up the hole before the Titans could stop them. And they're like, hey, we won! Uh, I guess. I do get the they won as in that every time they face the Titans, they've been mash they've been massacred, but this time a mission was technically actually successful, so that in that sense they won. Hey! Is that our boy um that elite dude? Alright, that's the scouting squad. I can't remember his name though, but he, I remember he's the guy that took out two at once. <laughs> oh boy, do we have shit to tell you! So they really had to fire explosives on these titans for a whole entire day, sacrifice all that people, and have Aaron somehow get control of the titans just to get back the Trost district? A thousand people were killed or injured during this attempt to gain back that small little bit. Not worth it. Agreed. Who is it? Is it someone? No! Damn! How can we not see his death? I mean, I know he's a side character, but I mean, still, he was in it quite a bit. That's what I'm asking. What happened to it? How can we not see his death? That's shitty. That's crazy. Look at her eyes. They are dead. Oh my god. Um. See, this was not a victory at all. I don't understand. It was not worth it. Literally, as like in Naruto, there's no time to mourn your friend's death in war. What is that? So they really are just eating us for fun. What kind of anime is this? Oh my god. They literally just eat us. Just to eat it. They get, they're literally getting no nutrition. They don't digest us. They literally eat us until their stomach gets full and then throw us up. I'm sorry, Commander Pixis, but yeah, you're gonna have to go down as a murderer. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> this reminds me of um, Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> when he first wakes up in that uh, room with um, Gojo. Like I said, like no one knows what he like when I when he first originally was putting his case on why they should kill him or not. I was gonna say. At best, they gotta lock him up until they can figure out what's actually going on. 
Still doesn't make any sense as to how Aaron got get, his dad gave him this power, but didn't give it to anyone else and didn't tell the government about any of this. Why? Could you imagine if we had like Mikasa turning into a Titan, Annie turning into a Titan? How powerful they would be? It really took a thousand people to just get Tross, which is a thorn. They want to get a whole entire wall back? Never. No, they're not. I'm sorry, but if the Colossus or Armor Titan come back, I feel like they're going to be able to destroy Aaron. Unless Aaron truly gets his Titan power under control. Dude. They draw the eyes so well in this show. Like, I felt that from Aaron. Fair enough. He's one of the elites, so I would trust him. Alrighty, well that was it for episode 13 of Attack on Titan, and what an episode. Very eventful. Um, first off, Aaron's finally getting his wish. He's becoming part of the Survey Corps. He's been preaching about that since day one, um, which now I think, I'm just thinking back to episode one when he was preaching about that. He has grown up. The animation from episode one to now, he literally looks so much different. It's crazy how old, he, how much he's aged. Um, two is that he's now going to try to go back and reclaim the wall, which I don't think is a good idea. They really, a thousand people were injured just to try to create, get that thorn back. Stoop, not worth it. Now they want to try to take back a whole entire wall. How many people are going to die trying to do that? Which then also begs the question, why didn't Aaron's dad tell anyone about this so they didn't have to go back to the basement? Why was Aaron the only one given the power to turn into Titan and no one else was told about it? He was banking on Aaron being able to remember this? What if Aaron took 10 years to finally remember? What then? What if Aaron never remembered? It just, where did Aaron's dad go? Why didn't he tell anyone? Like, just imagine if the top of the class were all able to do what Aaron is. We have... Mikasa being able to turn into one, um, Annie, um, that one muscular dude, I can't remember his name, his one friend, uh, those two guys, uh, Gene wouldn't be bad, like, just, oh my gosh, if, uh, what's his name, Levi could turn into a Titan, stop, like, yeah, so it's just weird that only Aaron was given this power and his dad was just like, I'm not going to tell anyone and hopefully my son can remember this to help save humanity. It's a big, big bank that he was hoping on. Um, and with that being said, that whole bank, um, I don't think banking on Aaron's power to get that whole sealed was worth it. Like 200 some people died and all they did was just seal a hole and get back that little tiny thorn just seems like all the people that died or were injured were going to be the population for that thorn so it's just i feel bad for commander pixis yeah they technically beat the titans as in they had a mission and their mission was successful that is a victory but overall they got their asses handed to them and all they did was it been like hey we plugged up the hole like, if I thought of analogy, like, with that, that'd be like plumbing. If it went and flooded your whole entire, like, room, ruined all your, like, half your clothes of closet, half your closet worth of clothes, all your shoes, and then you finally plug up the hole and you're like, ha ha, I won this plumbing battle. It's like, no, your clothes are all ruined. So, yeah, you plugged the hole, but... There was so much damage done. Same thing here. So, but I'm now just rambling at this point, just talking because I'm upset about the show. But I do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this reaction. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Later on.